Hello everyone, this is Cool IT Help and I'm here with the new video tutorial on the JPhoenix library. In this video tutorial, we will discuss about the controls. So, I have taken here the three controls, the normal Java FX date picker control and then I have taken the JFX date picker control and then we have this JFX time picker control. So, in this video tutorial, I will show you with the help of simple example and then we will get the value set by these controls on this button click and I will print these values on the console. So, the whole concept will be clear in one shot. So, let's get started. Okay, now back here on the NetBeans IDE, I'm going to create the new project. So go to the file menu, click on the new project and now choose the category which is JavaFX and now you have to select here the JavaFX, FXML based application and now click on the next button. Okay guys, now here you have to give a useful name. So we are going to look into the date picker controls. So I am giving it a name like date time picker example okay now rest of the thing will be same no change and now go to the finish button and click on it okay now it's creating the project so now we have the project created on the left side the project tab we have this project ready for us okay so as usual we have created the simple java fxml based project in the netbeans ide and now we have these three files the one is dot fxml file and the one is the controller file and the one is the normal file which has the start method so guys you can see here i have already described all these stuff in my previous video so I have given the link of those videos so if you have any doubt so you can go through those videos and come back here and continue with this video so you will get the complete concept okay now back to the line so right here we have this dot fxml file now I will do a right click and go to the properties and then here I will copy this path of this fxml file I will close it finally here and now I will open this scene builder okay so guys you can see here this is the scene builder this scene builder is developed by the glue on so you can get this scene builder application from the glue on website I have already given the link in the description box to download this scene builder Okay, so you can directly use that link and download the scene builder and open the scene builder now. Okay, so this is the scene builder. It's a little bit different from the Java FX scene builder. Everything is same, only we have the integrated JPhoenix library inside it. So you can get all those controls without any problem. So, right here, I'm going to open the same fxml file here. So, go to the file menu, choose this open, and now here the file name just paste the copied name. So, and click this open. The F same fxml file is open here. I will resize it a little bit, and this is the button that is default provided by the NetBeans IDE so right now what we have this is the anchor pan this is the base pan and now we have one button and we have one label so label is not required here so I'm going to delete it okay so delete it that's fine now now I will show you the simple date picker so once you write here date so you will get these two results so first one I will select I will drag it and drop it here okay now now I will choose this one 
this is the J Phoenix class. This is JFX date picker. So I will drag it here as well and drop here. So now we have two controls the simple JavaFX based date picker and we have enhanced date picker class. Okay, this is the enhanced date picker control provided by the J Phoenix library. Okay, guys, now we have one more thing. So what is that? This is JFX time picker control. So I will drag it here and I will drop it here. So we have these four controls ready for use. And now let me show you the preview. So go to the preview menu and you just choose the first option show preview in window. Okay, so here's the stage and we have these three controls and uh, these are active so you just click on it and you will see this uh, calendar pop up so you can select any of the date and if you want to change the month you can change the month from here okay so i have selected this 22 to 2018 okay in the same way we have this j phoenix based date picker control so just click on it okay guys you can see here this is awesome look and feel and this is a colored and uh, this is different from the previous control also it has a different kind of selection of date so you can just use this arrow for the selection of month okay and this the back arrow so you can go back to the month so unlike you have to change the year so you can just click on this place okay so it will give you the list of the years so we have 2099 and 2100 okay so we have a list of the years so we can select any of the year from here i'm going to select it 2002 and now this is sunday and i'm selecting the date 15 15 1 2002 so in such a way you can select it so this was the ui of this calendar control okay the date picker control that's fine now now come back on the third one this is the time picker control somewhere you have a need to put the time in some cases you have a requirement to do to give a timer control time control then you can use the jfx time picker control so now click on here so you will see this uh, clock and uh, we have a selection like if you want to select the time at 11 so you can click on this 11 and uh, if you want to select the minutes so you have just click on this place okay so now it will show the minute clock so like i would like to set the 1140 so i will click here so it is now 1140 and now once uh, you want to select 1142 so you just click on this circle and just uh, use the mouse and place it a little bit above this uh, exactly 40 so this white a small white dot will be placed so it will set the 1141 and here's the option like the time is in am or pm so you can choose it like is right now 1141 am and to set this time just click one more time here so the selected time will be appear at this place okay guys so this was the use of the date picker control and the time picker control and now we will look into the example and the code written inside the fxml controller so we will look further so you have used you have selected the values here and now you want to get these values okay so i will demonstrate you with the help of simple code so i'm going to write the code inside the button action method 
so I will click on this button and then the selected values will be printed on the console so that will be easy for understand you can use it in your own way as per your requirement okay so just going to close this one okay now we are inside the fxml and before proceeding to the next step so we have to give the fx id to these controls this is the simple date picker control by the java fx so here in the right side on the inspector we have this property so i'm going to close it and now you will see this code window so you have to just expand it and you will see the first one this is the fx id so we have to give we have to assign a fx id to this control so i'm giving it like a jfx date okay that simple okay so we have assigned this id i'm going to save it and now again come to the second jfx date picker and now again i will assign a new id to this like uh, j phoenix date okay and now click outside so the fx id is set for this control and now come back to the third one this is the time picker control and now i will give fx id okay so i have given the j phoenix time so we have assigned the fx id to the first one second and third okay so now save this and now just minimize it and go back to the netbeans ide and now open this fxml right here you can see that we have added the date picker and then we added the jfx date picker and then we have added jfx time picker control and you can see the fx id is set okay so i think this is clear to you okay so <clears throat> now go back to the fxml document controller dot java where we will do the code on the button click action okay so where is the button so right here you can see this is the handle button action and we have this annotation added fxml okay so this method is called when we click on the button so on uh, once we click on this button this method will be called okay so this is set inside the fxml here okay so delete the rest of the code and so now in the next step watch it carefully so we need all those controls reference here so i will do the annotation like here fxml and create the reference variable for that so first one is the date picker so here's the date picker and we need the fx id of the date picker for taking the reference of the same object so i have created here and now again i will create the new one for the j phoenix date picker so it's private jfx okay guys just wait it go back to the fx symbol and copy this jfx date picker class name and paste it here and now use this fx id the same fx id we need to paste it here okay so we have created the object reference for the jfx date picker now we will create the jfx time picker reference private and now go back to the fxml copy the class name 
and paste it here and now we need the FX ID for the same so I'm taking this FX ID for this time picker control and paste it here okay guys now uh, as you can see here the JFX date picker and the JFX time picker class is not available right now so what we have to do we have to add the jphoenix.jar in the class path so do a right click on the project and go to the properties and here on just below the source you have to select the libraries and now see here okay now come to the right side and just click on this button add jar slash folder okay once you click you have to locate the path where we have downloaded this jphoenix.jar so I have downloaded the jphoenix.jar inside this download folder okay so don't worry guys if you if you have uh, if you have not this jphoenix.jar on your system so you can just watch the description box I have given the download link so you guys just use that link and download and then add the jphoenix jar in this project okay click this open okay now you can see this jar is added in the project library and just click this okay now go back here and you have to click alt enter now you can see that we getting this import so choose the first one this is added and now do the same thing for the second one time picker okay now you can see that we have got this import statement on the top okay now everything is set now okay so in this inside this method i will print the values selected by this date picker control and this date picker control and this time picker control so what I will do it's really simple I will create a string variable like uh, I will use this value is equal to and now I will use the jfx date jfx date dot get value so the jfx date dot get value jfx date is the object reference of date picker control so I am going to use the get value method but the value is not of a string type that's why it is giving the problem and then you have to do the two string method for that okay so now here do a sys so system dot out dot print ln okay and now selected date value is and use this variable here so so the first control okay now once we select the date inside the first control the date picker and the value will be printed on the console okay and this value will be printed on console only when we click the button okay guys but this case is not complete consider the case when you have not entered anything then this javafx.get value method will you return okay let me show you before running this example I'm going to do a clean build of this project okay it is ready and go to this file and do a right click and choose the run file okay now here is the stage and we got this controls on this stage now suppose 
uh, let me show you the condition now you have entered nothing inside this control the first one okay and you're going to press this button once you click on it you will get this exception as you can see here this is a null pointer exception because we have not entered anything inside the date picker control at here okay now now choose this control click here and you will see this pop up and select any date and now then click here you can see here in the console the selected date value is here so it's working but we have to control this situation as well so to avoid this exception okay close the example and now go back here in the fxml document controller so we have to do a null check so how we will do that okay watch it so i'm going to do a check condition so if java jfx date dot get value is returning null then we will simply return a blank value i will simply return a blank string so what we have to do here i will do a check jfx dot get value not equal to null okay then uh, i have to return the selected value so get value dot to string okay so if this is not null then you can apply the to string method on this so this will return the selected value inside the date picker control and now place the colon and then here you have to return the simply blank string so the case when we have null okay and this condition is true then we will return this one and if this condition is false then we will return this blank string okay guys so the string is blank string or it has a values so now you can do a check here if value dot equals okay when this string value is not equal to blank then print the selected value otherwise we will print simply date is not selected okay guys I think this is clear to you so we have used only this date picker control object okay the reference object and on the basis of that we have write written this code so save the file and go to the run and do a clean build of this project so it is ready to run and now go back here in this file and do a right click and run okay now we got this stage and we can do a check i'm going to click on this without entering anything inside this control okay now you get the perfect message date is not selected that means the null is handled properly okay now just click on this control and choose any of the date and now just click here again and you will see the selected date value okay guys that's fine it's working properly now we will look the working of this jphoenix based date picker control okay guys now close this stage 
and come back here in the fxml document controller.java file and we will see the code for the jphoenix date picker control so everything will be same so just copy the whole code and paste it again and now rename it to the value one okay so the JFX date picker control is working same as the date picker control so I will use the object of the JFX date picker and here I will replace it okay rest of the thing will be same okay and now choose it the value 1 okay so this is the code for getting the value from the jphoenix date control and now save the file and do a clean build of this project okay let me change because this is the jphoenix jphoenix date so I have done a little bit change in the SYSO statement and again do a clean build. It is ready and now here jfx time picker example dot java on this file do a right click and choose the run file. Okay so here is the application okay now now we will do the same test just click on this okay you got it this date is not selected and jphoenix date is also not selected and now select do a selection one by one so you can select it here click on this control and you will see this pop-up the calendar pop-up and choose any of the date okay and now click again on this button and you will see okay we missed <clears throat> because we have changed this variable name so we must have changed value at this place as well now again do a clean build okay now run this file okay so this is the stage and uh, click here nothing is selected so the date is not selected and jphoenix date is also not selected now do a selection with the jphoenix control and choose the date so i have chosen this 24 12 2017 now just click again on this so you can see here the first date is not selected this is blank and the selected jphoenix date value is this so in this way we can get the value from the jphoenix date picker control that's easy and now again you can select the value in the first control as well so i have chosen 1912 2017 and now again click on this you can see the selected date is printed successfully on the console okay so this was the working of these two control now let's see on this time figure control okay close this stage and come back here in the fxml document controller.java file and now come here so this is going to be the same so I'm going to copy these statements and paste it here and now rename this value 2 and do a little bit change value 2 at this place as well <coughs> and we need this reference object 
from this GFX date time picker. So I will use the ref this reference object here. Okay. And the rest of the things will be same because all these classes works in the similar way. So save all those stuff and save whole file. Okay, we saved the files and now go to the run, do a clean build again. Okay, it is ready and now go to this file and do a right click and choose run file and here's the stage. Okay. Uh, in one shot we will see is it working or not so I'm selecting the date and I will select a different date of 2018 okay that's fine and now I will choose a time from this control so I'm going to choose the 11 and 1135 that's fine 1135 a.m. so we have selected 1135 a.m. now click again on this clock and the selected time and this selected time will display here okay now we have selected all these three values inside these controls okay now again click on this button now see on on the console okay the selected date the selected j phoenix date and the selected time so the time picker control is doing the format formatting on the 24 hours format okay guys now let me show you one more example like uh, if I am selecting one and then I am selecting 130 130 p.m. okay and now click back on this clock okay not exactly now it is 1 30 p.m. okay click back here on this clock and now just click on this button and watch it here the J Phoenix selected time value is 13 30 okay so this is mentioning that 1.30 p.m. So the date time picker is converting this time into 24 hours format. Okay guys, I think this is clear for you. As this was the controls used in JavaFX for the date time. So if you have any doubt about these, so please comment below. and. I will try to reply as soon as possible. That's all guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. So please like and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon for new video updates. Thanks for watching.